The strong winds that blew through our area around the supper hour also caused a building to collapse. It happened along Main Avenue in Fargo, and that's where Valley News Team's Callie Hubbard is live right now. And Callie, what's the very latest there? Hi, my guests. I've been driving all around town tonight. Power lines are down left and right. I had a hard time driving through neighborhoods myself just because of all the trees that were toppled over on top of the roads. Now, I want you to take a look at this. This building really took a beating. When the storm first started earlier, the roof of that building flew off and landed right onto the 2300 block of Main Avenue in Fargo. Fargo Fire says they don't know the exact name of the building, but a witness on scene here just a little bit ago told us that the building was leased by OK Tire. We don't exactly have that confirmed yet. Uh, Fargo Fire says they don't know exactly what was inside of the building, but they said that the owners have been notified. The department says no one was inside at the time and no one was injured. Uh, wind is a powerful thing and, and uh, it only takes a few seconds for something like this to happen. Now, Fargo Fire still has the road blocked off here from 21st Street South to 23rd Street South. The city of Fargo was here just a little bit ago, and now they're just waiting for Excel Energy to come and cut the lines so they can get this mess cleaned up behind me. I'm going to send it back over to you, Mike. Reporting live in Fargo, Callie Hubbard, Valley News Live. All right, thanks so much, Callie. Of course,